What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove and reinstall the radio on this 2010 Toyota RAV4. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. Just take a trim tool, we're gonna to take this piece of trim right off. Just get underneath here, the plastic trim tool. That way you don't scratch anything. Slide it off, then you can disconnect this connector right here slide it off. Just take a trim tool underneath here and just pop this up. Just like that. There's clips on the back side. The back side right here. There's a little tab. Release the tab for the connector. Disconnect it. All right, I'm going to take these bolts out. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. There's two on this side and two on the other side. And you might need a magnet. Um, use a magnet to be able to grab them once they're loose. Pull those out. Pull that one out. Now what you want to do is just grab the radio and just give it a little force. Pop it out from the back side. Disconnect the antenna. And then these other connectors, there's a button on the bottom side of them. Push down on the button and release the connector. A little bit tricky to do this with one hand. Slide that one, that one, and this one. There we go. It's the radio. All right, now we're going to connect the connectors on the back side of the radio. Now, they, these connectors only go in one position, so you just line up the connector at the right position. Those two go right there, the bigger one and the smaller one. And then this blue one goes right here. And there is another connection port, but we don't have another connector for that. And then this one goes to the antenna. It goes over here. Line up. And I can slide this back in position. Just watch out for those other wires on the side. Once it's lined up, lock that in place. Now we can take these, these bolts and I'll use the 10 millimeter socket and extension. Get these started. I'll just get them all started first. And you could use a magnet to get these back in if that helps you. All right, those are all started. And I'll just take a ratchet. All right, just snug those all up. Those are good. All right, we're gonna plug the hazard switch back in. Just like that. And then line up these tabs. Once it's all lined up, just press it in. Now we're gonna connect this locking switch line it up, and then line up the tabs, and lock it in. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.